Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jersey and today I'm bringing you my new build that I've done here in Lego Fortnite and we are gonna be working on this boat house, lake house, uh, boat offices, uh, wh whichever way you wanna call it. I don't know exactly what's the proper term or the right use of this word, you know, the, the area that we're building, but this is gonna be a new project that I'm gonna be working. So we are expanding our farm, our village into a whole new direction. And I'm gonna be using this lake to create a whole new village right here in the lake area. So this is one of the beginning. There's gonna be other builds and pictures that are gonna be coming this in this direction, in this way, that because we're gonna be making something, hopefully something special, and something that's gonna look uh, really good. So, and hopefully you guys will follow along and hopefully get inspired to maybe do something similar, maybe to do something even better than what I've done here today. Okay, so my approach was that I know I wanted this uh, like a little dock platform, right? And the dock platform needed to start uh, kind of from the dirt, but I didn't want like the whole uh, foundation to be like really sticking out from the dirt. So I had to find where it kind of was kind of like blending in with the dirt. So it kind of feels even, right? And then from there, I wanted to kind of expand and go forward to that direction. So at first, I thought that I was gonna go with the just with the uh, one as particular width as you saw it just in the very beginning. It's just the one little square. But once I started to put in uh, this uh, this little accent to kind of make it feel like it more like a dock, like we have a little section. Uh, I, I like the way this look. It was a little more, they were bigger. I was gonna use maybe one of the fencing ones that we can do for the stairs, but they were a little too small. And I don't know, it just didn't look the way that I really needed to look in my opinion. So I went with this ones. And um, the, one of the first thing to do was, as you can see, I was trying to do one of the fencing ones, but it just didn't look right. It was too small and it was not gonna feel right. So the other thing that I really wanted to do is, is have a really good spacing, right? And one of the things with uh, Lego Fortnite that I am to this day is still a little, little hard. Let's just say it's just a little more tricky is to get the right spacing each and every time. So you really gotta either concentrate a lot, look a lot and count the stunts. And it does help cutting stunts. So, but once I found a particular a sequence that I, I, I left the spacing and the spacing is more to your taste. Uh, if you like in a particular way, do it that way. Uh, if you like it in another way, then you can do it in a whole uh, different way. Okay, so over here, what I'm trying to do here, I, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do like a second elevation on this step over here, but I decided not to because it was going to ruin the way the docking area I wanted to feel and I want one section to actually be lower and be kind of almost underwater. So what I decided on is, okay, so I decided that this is where it's going to be. We're going to keep it like this and I'm approaching this build different, right? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to find what's the best way for me to build in Lego Fortnite, right? What do I find more comfortable? And after learning a lot of stuff, after we build a ranch home, right? And to that, we learned a lot. We did learn so much from that. Uh, as you can see, I'm adding foundation. They're very, I mean, we, even though we're on the water, I'm adding a lot of extra foundation. And if I need more, I will add more. Because this time around, I wanna make sure that things are level, that we have the right spacing. Now, the, my other approach was to really concentrate on the bottom floor first. Something that I did many times wrong, and I do feel like I learned a lot from that, those builds that we did with the farmhouse is I was a little too all over the place, right? Like I was working on the front, then work on the side, then work on the top, you know, because I was trying to make sure that I was gonna have this roof, uh, this hanging room on that other side. But what I decided on on this one is, and this one is a little, they're also gonna be a little more simple, right? Because it's meant to be simple, right? For the, these are a little boat, house, rental, houses, places here or offices where, where people are docking and just, you know, unloading their fish, unloading their stuff, uh, just transporting things, you know? So this, this is what this is about. Uh, so they're a little more simple, but I really wanted to make sure that this time we, I was gonna work on the bottom, right? Let me make sure that I can fit the wall that I want, the doorway that I want, and make sure that we have the square. I knew this build was gonna be a square anyway. It wasn't gonna have like this multi-level. We were not gonna have a second floor. We're not, the, so there's a lot more simplicity to it. So that does help to make the build a little bit faster. But as you can see, but also something that I really wanted to try, and this is an inspiration from a real life picture that I'm looking at, 
is a two-tone. So on the bottom, what they have was like complete like cement or this brick tone. And then on the top, it was made of wood. Now we don't have the same wood tone, so the only wood tone that we have and basically is with the logs or kind of like that brown brick. So I went with the logs just to keep that aesthetic going kind of keep going and matching with the farm in this direction but I did want the bottom one to stand out a little bit more so that's why I decided to use some of the castle items and use this particular that way it can feel different right and that's always that that to me that's always something that's going to be important is trying new things to make it feel more unique each and every time so so as you can see, I'm using pillars, I'm using walls. I'm trying to figure out if I want a different type of window, but I, I kind of went with the same one that we had in the front. I like the big opening. It just looks good and it feels great for this type of build. So as you can see, uh, we, we did the front. We, we're using columns, we're measuring things out. We wanted to make this field square. Now, uh, and then we're gonna work, since I know this is not, it's, this is not a two story, like we, we need a stairs to go up because I do have a wrap around porch and you're supposed to get inside the home from the top one from the back, right? So I already knew that. So my other approach was to use the right type of roofing. And this time what we did, we used the actual flooring path instead of foundation. So it makes it a little more flat, not as thick. Now, if you wanted the foundation and you wanted a brown border around and dividing this and that, then you can go with that route, you know, and you can still make the same idea, but you can use actual foundation. And if you want it to be thicker and have a thicker border around it, uh, I didn't go in that direction. I wanted a little something more flat uh, this time around. I kind of wanted to feel like it's both places are almost connected. So I'm working on the roofing this time so I can make sure I got the roofing done in this space so I don't have to struggle with it like I did with uh, the farmhouse and and actually worked. And I think it was a really good approach. Now, uh, I will see if this approach eventually will work great when we do something more elaborate with a lot more going on in, in the build. But as you can see, uh, the I couldn't fit all four of the big panels, all the flooring, so I did have to use smaller ones and then the really small one, the skinny one, the skinny board, just to complete the roof, but everything felt perfect. There was no, no, nothing was hanging on the side, and I was really lucky because, uh, because just to be honest, I didn't, I did not measure that part out. I didn't, I didn't measure to see if I could, if the platform were gonna fall correctly. So that was actually kind of lucky that the big ones did fell and everything felt squarely because I could have been off by a little bit, but it actually worked out uh, really fine and came out uh, looking really good. Okay, so my next step is now let's start building the next part, right? I don't want to work on my porch. I don't want to work on around my area. So I need to work on my vision. That's going to be a little home right here on the top, you know, and this could be an office. This could be a one, one cottage studio style apartment where everything you can see, you can see the kitchen, you can see every, because it's just a little square, right? Uh, maybe it's a little rental place, you know? Uh, who knows what this can be? It's gonna be up to your imagination to see what you wanna make uh, this year. But as you can see, I, I decided to go with a different route. I didn't use the, the cabin corners. I went ahead with that little darker. I really like this look, I, I just, I, I like it a lot. I do like the, the wood, but the, the dark, it's, it matches the frame of the windows and I, I just feel like it complements each other uh, really well. So I went with this direction. I'm adding the door and I, it's just basically the same step as we did on the bottom. I just want to make sure that I have the room on the top, you know, uh, that everything fits perfectly and it's looking good. And if I need to change something, let's change it now, you know, and I, and going in this direction, and I think going forward, hopefully I can make the same thing happen when I do something more unique, like in the farmhouse, you know? But, you know, live and learn, and I think that's where we are with LEGO Fortnite. We, we keep learning each and every day how to approach our new builds. Okay, so as you can see, we, we got the the uh, three other walls done. Now over here, uh, I'm trying to make sure everything matches. I was a little off as you can see, but easy fix. We're gonna fix the wall over here and all that. Then we're gonna do the same thing, same step as we did in the front uh, from when we did the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing on the top. Now we're gonna put the roofing for this roof over here. Now I'm, I did out of the, rail, the rails over here. This looks really nice. I really like this idea of the wrapping up porch. And like I said, I saw this in a real uh, like dog house pictures and I really like the way that inspiration and you guys know the way I like to operate. I look for inspiration, real life pictures in the world that really 
kind of makes me get motivated to build and then I that's what I kind of want to do so I found this one this picture look really really great and I really like the feel of it so so I'm trying my best to imitate even though it has so much more stuff but we don't have none of those pieces that we can do like that right now at least not right now in Lego Fortnite so we have to improvise the best that we can but we're gonna do this the same approach uh, as we did on the bottom we're gonna work on the flooring uh, as we see, you can, we're gonna pull these planks, then we put the next section over here that's gonna be uh, one of the smaller ones, and then we're gonna do some of the long ones. And, and then once we have that, we got the roofing section over here, and then the next big part is to work on the roof, on the top of this. And now that one, like always, is all about finding the right placement, finding the middle on this bill, and making sure that we can go up, right? Uh, cause that's important, right? And that took me a moment. I don't, I haven't found what's the easiest way to approach this type of scenario. Like how do you find the right middle where you need to hang it is to me, it's still a lot of trial and error. So you can see, we're going to go through a process here of placing items, noticing that they're not center. So how can I make this center? Where do I need to put the one to start out hanging out a little bit more on the edge? So then I can place another one over here and it's just gonna be trial and error. And the bigger the roof you make it, then the more you're gonna try it out, right? Um, so so, so my the, the recommendation is truly just do the best you can, trial and error, put one over here, try it out. If it doesn't fall center, take it off, do it again. And that's my approach, as you can see. Now, once I did this, I noticed, I didn't notice here, but I noticed later because we left a gap and I noticed that because one of the sections was a little too far out. And as you can see over here, I, I thought I first I had the first attempt, but as you can see, I didn't have it. The roof was not center. <laughs> so we need to come back and do it once again uh, and just reshift everything, uh, take everything down. And and, and that's the, the thing with Legos, right? Uh, it's still to this day is, is you gotta build and then you gotta take it down. And it's so hard to me, it's still, it's that feeling that you can spend uh, 20 minutes on something and have to take it down just because you were off by a little bit. Uh, the, and because there's no easy way to fix it. There's no save. There's no way you can reload the game in a certain point to see if you were right or wrong. You know, uh, you just got to do the work. But finally, we got a center. Once we had that, then it was, it's pretty easy going straight forward, right? Uh, all you need to do is add the roof, find, find the right combination of pieces so you can do the ending. Uh, and then try to find the last piece to match it. So this is when I notice uh, I'm trying. I'm gonna work on trying to add the root pieces, but I keep having this gap, and I'm like, wait a minute, why am I? Why this is not working? I'm trying all the different combinations. I keep having this little gap, and what happens is, is we need to actually one of the sections needs to be pushing the roof, needs to be pushing a little more to the inside. So everything that we did again, we need to actually push it in the inside by one little click and that's when i noticed it when i went down there i noticed it so we're gonna fix that we're gonna put that little click we're gonna fix it and then the roof falls perfectly and everything matches just just perfect just perfect uh and then we got a nice roof you know with no gaps no anything we don't have to improvise or nothing now again the, this roof is simple it's, it's not complicated it's, it's a simple roof it's not is it's not something that we did with our, our farmhouse that it had all this multi-level and it looks really cool and nice. Uh, this one is just pretty straightforward, but you can still see that there's still a lot of work to do behind the scenes. It's not just placing it, you know, you gotta find the right measurements, the right angle. But one, once you get it done and you get it working, uh, it starts looking very well. Now, there are some gaps in the very front, as you can see in the floor. We are gonna cover those. We're gonna put some of the tile flooring uh, with the long ones and it folds perfectly as well and it looks so nice so those are little details that we're gonna fix a little later but the most important is that the roof is working and we're not having this amazing or hard struggle to make everything work and fit perfectly um, and try to improvise you know and approaching this build in this scenario actually worked out really well and I really enjoyed the process and it made it it made it so much simple and i think a lot of you are going to be able to follow this uh this sequence and this build much better and at the same time as you can see it can be expanded you can go higher you can make it a three floor you can make it wider there's many options that you can do here 
when it comes to this bill. Now, there, there's something else that I wanted to do here. And I kind of wanted to make it feel like we have a little alleyway right in between two buildings, right? So I didn't want a big gap. I just wanted to feel like we had this little opening. But now this one is going to be even smaller on purpose. You know, I want two different things, two different combinations. I want one section to feel kind of big. I want another section to feel kind of uh, small. And I want the, the roofing of the square to be smaller than what we have on the side. And this one, instead of having walls all around on the floor, it's going to have archways. So it's like you can get it inside and out. So that way it feels different. And that's something that I want to try to do a lot when it comes to this new idea and area that we're going to be building. It's going to be very different, uh, very, uh, hopefully very unique in many ways, but I do want to feel that uniqueness to, to the areas. So every building, I'm going to try to make it as different as we can, you know, as much as we can, you know, and hopefully not hit the high capacity too soon so we can actually do something nice and something very very cool because that, that's what i really want okay so as you can see i'm doing the little archways i'm doing the little columns over here trying to get a good pattern going on uh but like like i mentioned i don't want to go past i wanted the building to stay the same but i did start a little back right and that's why that that's what makes it different and then makes you feel like you're walking in a different uh, way when you walk this build, right? One is a little more forward, the other one's a little more back, but the other one doesn't have walls underneath, it's just gonna have archways. And like I said, this this typical build, you can change it, you can uh, build it different, uh, you can make it all, all square uh, with walls, you can make it a little wider, you can duplicate the same building and do it side to side. So approach it whichever way you prefer and what it, what's gonna fit your style and your and the Lego world that you're building, right? And so, so, so make that happen and make it work the way you want. Okay, so now that we have that, um, I'm one, I did want to continue this um, walkway that we had on the back. I, it's gonna continue to go over here because we're gonna have another door that's gonna go to this little tiny building that's gonna be on the top. Now, something that I noticed, and I know, I don't know how to do it this next time. I think next time, if I know I'm gonna do a wraparound porch, what I'm gonna have to do is do what we did first, do the walls, right? And then what we're gonna do is put the beams that we want to hold the walkway, right? That's gonna be then put the walkway on top and then see what we need. Because I went with the flooring for the roofing, but maybe if I would have done the foundation for the roofing, then I would have a taller gap. Then the platform that we're gonna walk up, the railway, is gonna be a lot higher and then the beans would fall from that to bottom. So it's, it's something new to learn for next time. And probably I'm going to try that out on one of my other builds I'm going to do in this lake. So hopefully, you know, and it's like I mentioned, we learned so much from one particular build. We're learning more from this one and we're going to keep going forward. So now I did found this other type of uh, beams, as you can see. So I use them as support, like they're grabbing the wall and holding, but it still feels like there's too much in the air, right? It just doesn't feel right. So eventually I do add another type of beams uh, support so it looks a little bit better. And I think it looks really good. So you guys let me know what you guys think of that look. Um, but I think the next time that I'm gonna approach this, I'm gonna approach it so much more different that it's gonna be more, much, much better. And I think the walkway looking better, everything's gonna be taller, and it's gonna be great because then uh, the other building will be taller than this one, and that's gonna be just a fantastic. I think I'm gonna like that a lot. Okay, so as you can see, I'm doing the floor, the flooring right here. So we did the flooring. Uh, we're gonna add to add now all the walls, all the little columns, what's gonna go here. So I'm still gonna go with the same um, matchy matchy that we did on the other side. So I'm using these particular columns over here, and I'm seeing what I gotta work with. And as I can tell, I can finish one size like this. I can put the other size with the other pieces and I can use the single pieces to finish up some of this one. And as you can see, I did a lot of this. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Uh, I put a door over here and look at this. It's just like a, like a little, like a little shed. So, but instead of having that, I still decided that I wanted to put a window over here in the front. So that way the aesthetic, when you look at it from the front of the dock looks really good. Uh, and we have a window and we got a little extra light and that way when we put light inside, inside the bill, then it, we got a little movement, right? And it just looks a little more complete, a little more together and something that's uh, 
maybe feels like people are living in. So I really like that. Okay, all right. So now we put the second flooring uh, over here that acts like the roof. And then we're gonna work on the roof, on the roof system up here. And then this one was actually a lot more straightforward, a lot more simple, and that make the workload quicker. It just went real quick when we actually started doing the roof. And sometimes you're gonna get like this. Now, one of the reasons that I did it this way too, because I wanted the roof in both buildings to go in different directions. You know, instead of being the same direction, you know, I go in different directions. Now, it's not for everyone and it's not every time you need to do this, but I wanted to make it a little more fun and a little more more pleasant to look at. So by going in and uh, the big house is going in one direction and then this little one is going the other direction, it just makes the build feel a little bit different. And I really like the aesthetic and I really like the way it looks. Now we finish the top, we're doing the final accent details right over here. And and then we got two little buildings. And I was so happy when we got to this point because I was like, okay, all right, this is looking like, like the picture uh, of the real location that I'm looking at. So this is looking really good. So now we gotta work and extend the porch area that we gotta do. We gotta do the elevator platform. And another thing that I really wanted to do and the way to approach it that I really wanted to approach it on this build was I really wanted to decorate this time, right? Uh, a lot of the other builds that you've seen, uh, I go I go way and add so much that I get to the point that I can't even add decorations on them, right? So I know on this one, because it's so important that it does feel like a dog. It does feel like it's a place that people are working and doing stuff. I really wanted to decorate. So one of the reasons that I didn't expand and started adding all the other buildings that I want, because I wanna approach it this time very slowly. I wanna come in, work on this idea, work on this section, do the build, do the decorating, you know, and then once I feel comfortable that looks good and it's kind of decorated, then jump to the next one and keep doing it in that route. That way, I'm not stuck with high complexity or disab uh, building disabled is off. You know, they took out the building because you can't build anymore. And then I'm stuck with just structures and nothing else that makes it feel alive and full and completed. So, so that's what I'm approaching in this build. And that's why it's different. Cause normally I would have done like the platform, the whole dock area, how big the dock is gonna be, where I'm imagining, but I'm gonna expand it. It's gonna be an expansion process, work by section section. As soon as I start seeing that hitting high capacity, how to regroup, how to do, what do I need to do so I can make this area kind of finish it quicker and then move on to the next one where there's no high capacity, start building there and keep expanding in that direction. And that's what I'm hoping my new approach will be and that it will work so much better than what I've done in the past, you know? And I think that's part of the Lego Fortnite uh, designing process, you know, building process is we gotta learn. I do feel like we gotta learn from all our mistakes, the way we approach and builds and how we can build in this game that is a little more relaxing, a little more better, a little more comfortable. I think that's gonna be so important for all of us, you know, but I do like what we have here, right? Uh, and it's coming out great. Now, this is the other thing that I really wanted to do. I really wanted a lower dock. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want the dock to be the same level coming out because I want, want to be a little more closer to the water. And this part was hard because you can't like almost build in the water in a way you keep moving up and down so you really can't just get underneath it. So the way that I needed to do this was doing this. I needed to find the location where it's gonna be underneath it, work on a platform, <laughs> go and put some pieces on the front, take the ones on the back out, do it again, take the ones back out to the game and go like that until we got to the location that I needed to be at. You know, and once we got to the location where I, 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 I can see this platform coming out into the lake, you know, uh, then that's what's gonna work. Now, the other thing is, as you can see, as you work with the lake, uh, at first we weren't on the water, but now in this point here, the pieces are on the water. So that was not supposed to go according to plan. That was not the plan. Uh, but what I did, cause I really wanted the dog to look the same, the same color, the foundation. I just wanted that to be the dog, that brown, and that was the dog and that was it. But in this one, and this is where I really wanted the dock, this area to be. And if I went deeper, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna hit more water. I went, I went ahead and just added a little bit of flooring, just that way we are a little bit above the water. 
Now, some sections are still like maybe a little corner and you can say, oh, the water level, the lake went up. You know, I, I mean, you can find a story behind it and say it, but I didn't like this. It was too dark and didn't like it. So I went with the brown one, the one that you get when you start building for the first time. It felt more like a dog because you kind of see a little more of the boards and it looks a little more beat down and like people are being here and using this a lot so um so i i went with this one i i kind of like it and it looks a little more rougher so it matches the big brown and also if you look at the post that we're doing they kind of accent right you got the dark and you got the light so i think it kind of complements the build together it's just to me it works you know if if it does if it doesn't work for you i would suggest to Pick what you want, you know, uh, do the work. Uh, maybe you prefer old brown. Maybe you prefer the whole dog to actually be with that wood pieces. And you know, now that I say it and think about it, maybe that could have been a good way to go. Uh, and maybe I can still make that happen. Maybe if I want that uh, and make the whole dog, cause it looks cool. It looks cool. Cause you got that tone of wood. You got that little brokenness to it. Instead of the foundation, who knows? You may see this back and maybe I'll, maybe I'll add something like that. Uh, I'm curious to see because now I kind of wonder, you know, and, and that's the thing. Sometimes when you're building uh, and you're decorating and all that, sometimes when you come back the next time, you get better ideas or a new design or a new way that you want to approach this. And that's what's happening to me right now. You know, I'm, as I'm rewatching this, as I'm explaining what was my process, what I was thinking behind it, I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe if I did this, this would look better. <laughs> you know, but it's, it's, it is what it is. Okay, so the other thing that I really wanted to do is I just wanted to extend just a little bit of the brown dock area, right? So we got our foundation that is the, the great one for the building itself, right? Just to make it feel different uh, than what's going to be around the porch. Uh, then over here, the dog, I really wanted to kind of wrap around this little area, just like that, nice and simple, and we did that. So now, I did felt like the dog out here, it was a little, a little too short, so I went ahead and expanded it uh, one more time. We went a little more out, and that made it feel more natural. It just felt like it was proportional to the rest of the build. And if I'm imagining that I'm gonna put a boat or something like that in the future here, if we get boats or rowboats or something, hopefully in the future, or maybe we'll build our own at some point, right? I do have ideas, so uh, maybe we'll build one for aesthetic reasons, you know? Uh, but okay, so now, now I this section over here was truly starting to bother me. I just, I don't know, I just, I really wanted to feel like we have some support, something, some type of support. So at first I did this, uh, pillars over here and I added them to the outside and then this section looks really good so it's like oh I'm happy with that so okay so I'm very far away so I can actually put this and I can see at the same time yeah this is how we gotta open it in Lego <laughs> you, you can be uh, because if you're in the water I keep going up and down up and down and I can match it but then I realize that we have such a big gap because what's on the front with that foundation it takes out more than what's on the side so now the beams are not touching the frame and I didn't like that. I, I didn't think that was the look that we were going for. So you, I was like, you know what? Uh, let's just redo this. This is not gonna be good. We're gonna uh, find something else that we need and go ahead and do another pillar. And that's what we're gonna end up doing. Uh, and then I'm using, uh, we're gonna use some another type of pillar that actually looks pretty nice. And I think actually worked out at the best. So this is something that I was gonna try. I was gonna try to see, oh, what about if I make this then platform wider? But by making it wider, now it's it's two two different ways to go. When it comes to this, you may end up liking it, and you may like how it looks wider back here. But I, for me, it was too wide, and I was gonna have to work the stairs. That we're working the stairs, not bad. We can do that, but it it just felt too wide, and it didn't feel natural again to the build, you know. And that's something to me. To me, when I'm building, it's always important to keep it kind of more realistic because that's that's what I base all my builds off, and I do look at real world pictures, so it, so it does help me to keep things a little bit more in proportional to the scale of the character or of the build that we're doing. So didn't like the way it looks so wide, so we went ahead and just took it all down, keep it the same, and just kind of 
refocus and trying to see if we can find something better. So I keep trying all the pieces, maybe two small ones work, work great, maybe if I do this or I do that, and, and again, nothing was working but I, like always don't ever give up you know if you if you know be picky be picky so okay so now i found these pillars over here and they they have a really cool texture to them and they kind of also have that color scheme going on that we have going on with the house with the with the two different tones of brown and the dark one and i was like you know what this actually looks pretty good and if i put it in key places it could look like it's holding this uh putting support, right? And once we did this, I really started to like it. Now, uh, I had to move it a couple more times to make sure that I get the pillars in a location that looks good and it makes sense and it's really holding and it's supporting and it's doing and it's doing all this the way it's supposed to be doing. And once we did that, then the back started looking really, really well, looking a little more complete and just the build was coming together. And there's nothing when a build comes together, right? When you finally get motivation, you're like, yes, this is coming out good and all that. So as you can see, uh, I'm moving a couple more of the pieces around and I'm going back. And this is something so important. And I always like to say, go back, look at your build from far away as much as you can, you know, because you're going to get a whole different perspective. Sometimes up close, everything looks like it's in the proper place. But when you look, when you step back and look far away, it looks crooked it may look offside it may look good it may it doesn't look proportional to the empty spaces that we have so something to think about and something for you to really uh think about you know when when you're building stuff like this so now something that it wasn't working so what i'm trying to do is frame them a little better with the edging of the buildings and just kind of align this a little better and then we went a little bit double Double to make it feel more. I don't know. It just single thing look finished for some reason for me. So what I'm doing here is moving some of these ones over here. And, and you see, I'm making them a little more thicker. So it feels like we got this big pieces holding this in, in, in particular spots. And once we did that combination, I really was happy with what we had. And I was like, okay, we got something. This is working. Uh, it's looking good. It's matching everything. So let's keep going and now add the, the other pieces that we need. So we're gonna continue the countdown, the separation that we have here. I believe it was 10 studs in between each of the buildings, each, each of the, uh, the, this little post that we're using. Uh, so I think it's 10 in between. Now this backside over here, well, I couldn't do the same sequence. So what we did is try to make it look a little more uh, even and center. So I'm counting to see what do I need to do. So I had to do a whole different count uh, just to make it work. But once we did it, it started looking fantastic and it looks really, really good. And I, and I like this piece. This piece is not meant for this, but it's working. And I think it's working for me. I think it's, it just made the dog feel more like a dog. And, and yeah, so now we gotta start slowly because the main, the main part, the main portion, the main outline of the buildings are done, right? And, that, and that's great progress. I was very happy about to get to this point. But now this is the point that I was like, okay, I do wanna add a little decorating um, before expanding to the older section. So, and I thought that was a good idea because if at least I have this decorated, then once I work on the other one, then if the other one for some reason hit high capacity or build limit or build disable, but at least one of these buildings is decorated, right? And we, we got our benches, we got our stuff. And, and I go to the whole list trying to find stuff that makes sense that you will see in a dock, right? So over here, I imagine like a little desk and a little chair and people are here just collecting maybe your fee for using the dock or something like that. So I, you know, and, and, and finding different items to really bring this bill a little bit better and more to life. I, you know, adding little things on the wall, couple more things on the floor, all of that is gonna be important. Now, I also learned what items you can actually use for walls or not. And that was also interesting. Uh, there were some items that I didn't expect that we could use as well. All the items that I thought that was for walls were only for the floor. So yeah, so it's, 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 it's always interesting to see how items 
really communicate with one another uh, in this build and in this Lego uh, Fortnite world that we're, we're building is completely different compared with anything else. But okay, so now the next thing I wanted to add, it was, you know, add boxes, add a little barrels, a little clutter, right over here, spots like people maybe are unloading or they're getting ready to load, where we're gonna move the boxes, you know, and maybe put a little rack over here. And as you can see, that's what we're doing. We're adding this over here, adding that over there, and just finding things and co and keeping it with the same tones that we have. Let's keep things that match. I mean, and the great thing that you don't have to match, you know, if it's a dog. You could be online things that don't match completely. Right now, I did the matchy game and complementing each other and the colors complementing each other. I just, I wanted to go to that round, but you don't have to. And you can put machinery, you can put the ovens, you can put something like maybe they just unloading a new oven or shipping out a new oven who knows who knows what it is okay so i found these rods over there so i really want that just to give it a little bit different look and height for the docking area right there um maybe they're using it to fishing maybe they're using it to uh for a sailboat who knows who knows why they're gonna use that but I, th I thought they looked cool <laughs> and I just went at them there. Now, I, I kept trying with the lights and the lights in this game are not bright enough. They don't really do anything justice. And they don't look as good as they should. As they should, they should be brighter. They should be, they, 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 should, they should give you that bright light like the torch uh, does, right? It, whatever the torch light sequence is, developers, you need to do that for the lights here. You gotta crank up, crank it up, crank that luminosity and make them bright. You know, uh, okay, so so I'm adding all these lights over here, adding all these posts. I think it's slowly working. I take them off, I'm adding back on, you know, it's always trying and error. Now, I kind of was looking at the book se a section. I was like, you know what? We can add like a little bookshelf out here. Like maybe people are putting stuff on these shelves for the dog. Maybe, maybe that's where they keep some of the uh, repair tools, you know, imagination, right? Uh, but I did find one that I like and that was not gonna take too much of the hallway. So I, I went with this one, I put it over there. Now, I found these little hanging things that you can put on the wall. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. I, I it, it, get, it gave the build something extra. And for some reason, it did let me put a flower on the one on the side, but not on this one. Maybe I needed to be at another angle. Maybe I needed to be higher or something. But for now, it was okay. I didn't need it to put it. We're just gonna continue to work and keep adding more of these other items that we need. And as you can see, uh, I'm adding a, a bucket of water. We are adding the mop. We're adding some baskets. Again, more barrels in different sizes and different colors, just so we can do a little uh, contrast against uh, the different uh, colors that we got going on and then we're always checking it for far away see how it looks and tell you what you know i'm really happy about this build you know it's the first one like this hopefully the stuff that i learned from this one makes the other one even better but you know but i really like the dog the dog came out great i really like the feel of it you know it's it's a really good sized dog you can walk around you can see all your decorations uh you can see where things are placed you know and you can work on it you know and you can have multiple villagers there maybe you want to have a store there who knows who knows who knows what you want to do when you do this but i really like the way it's coming out now another thing that i really wanted to make it feel like it's a little more lived in you know and since we got like this uh cottages houses up here uh i added like this like people are hanging their clothes and i really liked it it just gave it something a little more homey more real it it was a really cool item. I've been wanting to use the item for such a long time. And finally being able to use it here, it, it worked out. It worked out. It was perfect. And I was really happy with the, 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 the results. It just, it looked really good. Okay, as you can see, we're still adding a couple more barrels of water, finding the right thing. This item I started really liking. So I started to put it in different places and I'm like, oh my gosh. So this could be where we're unloading. Uh, you know, whatever's inside the barrel, we're unloading them. So, you know, and loading them back up, unloading or loading to go, you know. Uh, so I like that. So I went ahead and put them in different places. Uh, one in one wall, one on the other one, just because aesthetically, it's gonna look so nice. And, and having all that big wall of brown, and especially against the white, it looks, it looks really good. And I really like that. Okay, so over here, what I'm trying to do is add a little fire. Everything looks a little too dark. It's not just, you know, I can't even see the bill myself, but uh, so, so something that I'm going to do here, as you can see, I had this fire very close to the wall. So I'm going to put a little more center so I don't have this big 
glowing. This big glowing, like what you say, glowing fire just going through the wall. I didn't really want that, so I went ahead and just moved it a little more to the center so it's a little more subtle. I added a couple more of this. I wish we could hang this like outside of the windows. That wouldn't be cool. Uh, so, okay, over here, I'm doing the final touches on the little roofing because we did have a little bit of a gap, you know, so we are fixing that on the bottom. So it looks uh, complete. Even if, I mean, if somebody comes here and they want to look up, I want it to feel like it's complete and not, and not completed. So we added that and look at that. Look at this. This came out really good. I'm really happy with the way this build is turning out. I, I just, you know, and I can't wait to expand it on it. I can't wait to work on the other docks, work on the other buildings that we're gonna do. And all the other buildings are gonna be different because they're gonna be for different reasons, you know, and I'm excited for that. I'm truly excited for that. So, okay, so as you can see, uh, I added, uh, we're gonna add a couple more barrels on this other side of the wall over here, just to make it feel like we got more going on. You know, uh, I just felt like it was a little too open. I think it would look better if it looked finished. I'm adding a little more over here on this side, you know, because underneath here, it could be a tavern, you know, underneath that little home. And maybe we do have a tavern, you know, and it looks good. Um, but look at this, look at this. I really like the place, the location, the view. You know, I think that this build, it looks good. It looks, I mean, for me, it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I really love the walk around porch back here. It just, it's a different aesthetic and different feel to it. Uh, we got all this door going in and out. We got, we are very close to the lake. We get, we get to see the beautiful water here. It looks absolutely gorgeous, you know, and look at this. I really like the two tone that we did, you know, using the, the white uh, castle walls to accent because if not, everything will be so brown. So we did a really good mix of accent right here. And that accent worked out really great. You know, I really wanted to see it, how it looked when you're floating on the water. Because, you know, in different angles, things look very different. And I really like this. So we're going to walk a little slower. We're going to walk it one more time. I'm going to show you what we got. And we're going to do a little swimming. See it in different angles. Because I see it builds in different angles, you know, from different perspectives. It does help. It does help, you know. Sometimes you see mistakes too that you may need to fix, you know. It's like, oh wait, from this, this doesn't look right, you know. Uh, but look at this. I'm really happy. I really like the two, the, especially the smaller building next to it, and facing the whole different direction. It just feels different. It just feels real, lived in for other purposes, you know. And then we got a farm over there that that we, we we've been working on that on stream, you know. And we we we're getting close to finish the, the farming area. But look at this, look at this. I'm so happy, you know, and I love the other area of the dock that's like lower to the water, that is so close to the water that sometimes water gets on it and sometimes it doesn't get on it. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos and I'll see you next time. All right guys, see you later, bye.